Hey everyone, Ryan here again from Go Boss Gaming. In this video, we're gonna be playing a little Project Cars 2 in VR with the Oculus Rift CV1 here and my brand new racing rig, the Club Sport V2.5 wheelbase, the BMW rim. It's just incredible. Love the feeling of this whole thing. The uh, Alcantara covering on the wheel feels super nice, really, really nice, but I did go out and get myself some racing gloves. Well, these are actually just mechanics gloves. I call them racing gloves. They're very, very light, very thin. They have the uh, micro suede palm as well. So they work really, really well with this wheel. I also got the Fanatec Club Sport shifter. This is a seven speed shifter with reverse as well. And you can also switch it down here to sequential mode, which is really, really nice. I still have got my makeshift e-brake over here. All the buttons work on this as well. And the Fanatec Club Sport wheel bay, or, uh, pedals V3. Um, we're gonna take out the Camaro Z2869, and we're gonna be racing at Brands Hatch, five laps. Um, the opponents are going to be the vintage GTA class cars, and I'll be racing against like a Porsche, Ferrari, uh, another Nissan and probably some other Camaros here. I'm gonna have the AI set at 120%. Um, so this should be pretty pretty interesting. Hopefully I can get through this, uh, not too bad. Um, there's gonna be a quick day night cycle, three times speed on that, and a little bit of weather change. Other than that, everything's ready to go. Let's get into it. Okay, here we go. 69 Camaro, Brands Hatch, five laps. Got 120% AI difficulty. Look at the start, look at the start. They are also 100% aggressiveness. So this should be a really good battle. Whoa, okay. Made up a few spots there already. Walking the tires out of there. Such an amazing feeling, this wheel. I love my old G29, but I will never say anything bad about that wheel. That got me through years and years of fantastic sim racing, but this thing no question, this Fanatec, it's the next level. You can feel so much more through the road, fine, fine details. Oh, this is going to be a nice pass, look at that. Try and leave him room. I didn't know he was going to be there. Look at this battle we got coming up here. One Porsche, one Camaro to eat up. Holy smokes. This is intense. I am grinning ear to ear right now if you guys can't see it. This is so cool. VR just brings it alive, just that extra little bit too. Using every inch of the track. <laughs> oh, nice get off on that turn. Oh, I 
should be able to eat this Porsche for lunch. Come here. He'll get me back here in this corner. Nope, because I cut him off badly there. <laughs> Sorry. Quite a bit too heavy in that corner. I should have known that he'd be out there. He's still back there. Looks so cool. The sky looks amazing. Look at that. Whoa! Almost out of the track limits there. I do have penalties on, so I have to be really careful. Especially with this big beast of a car. The rear end just so hard to keep stable. Shifted there. Went into fourth instead of second by accident. Sometimes you just feel like you gotta drop it down in a second through there. Get dark. Drop that gear too quick. Man, this guy is a serious battle. corner. Oh boy, don't lose it now. I gotta be happy with second at this point. I think I lost some time in those first couple of corners. Oh, I was gaining on that guy. But, that's the hardest part of racing is keeping it together till the end of the race. Just like that, stepped on the gas a bit too early and this car just gets twitchy when you do that. Oh, I had a chance at him, look at him. What a fantastic race that was. Thank you, Fanatec. That's a dream. Simply put, the whole thing is just awesome. 
Project Cars 2 in VR with the Fanatec setup is one of my favorite sim racing experiences of all time to this point. I'm pretty happy to have second place in that race with the AI at 120%. A month ago with my G29 racing wheel, I'm not really too sure if I could have pulled that off to be honest. I hope you all liked this video and if you did, please hit that thumbs up button and if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can click on the Go Boss Gaming logo in the next screen you are about to see. Thank you everybody so much for watching and until next time, happy gaming!